Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In this episode, we will talk about some of the common questions asked by recently regarding the Fury client application. In our company, we would like to use the Fury applications, which were already built as part of the mobile device. For that, SAP was providing an application called Fury Client. This application was available on most of the most of the app stores from where you can download and put the U launchpad URL and you were able to access all the Fury apps. But recently they have decommissioned this Fury client application from the app stores. So what is the solution? The solution to this problem is developing a hybrid Fury application. What is a hybrid Fury application? So basically the Fury applications are built using UI5 technology and UI5 is based on the open technologies like HTML5, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. So what we can do is we can now utilize the Cordova plugin or Cordova framework to package our Fury application into the hybrid application and put that as a build that application as a APK for Android and IPK for iOS and deploy that on the mobile phones to be able to do that we can use hybrid application development training if you want to join complete end-to-end -end hybrid application development training kindly check the link in the description below to find our hybrid app development course especially designed for fury developers who would like to embrace mobility so i will now show you what solution do we have to avoid fury client and have our own APK deployed in the mobile phone with a live demo. So first of all, let's talk about the wireframe. What is that we are going to follow when we want to design an app which runs on the mobile phone for Fury. So first of all, when we run the mobile phone in the Fury, uh, in the mobile phone, the Fury application, we will typically not deploy that on S4 HANA. So we will deploy our application on the on the mobile itself as APK for Android device, for example. So you have your mobile app. Yes, this is your mobile app example. And when you click this mobile app, it has to also contact our SAP server to fetch the metadata of the OData. So for example, S4 HANA. So here we are not contacting Launchpad, rather we're directly contacting the OData of S4 HANA. And this OData would require the user credentials. So that is why we also need to design a custom login screen. So when user click on our app, what we will do first, we will opt user for a custom login screen where user can enter their ABAP user passwords. And when they click on login, that's when we can make the call to our S4 HANA enriching with the login details. And that way S4 HANA will confirm if the credentials are correct then we will let user navigate to the next screen where we can have our actual application and the data apart from that there are great features of a hybrid application for example we can also integrate camera integration we can also have the barcode integration we can also use a offline store to make our application run offline we can also check the device network status whether the device is connected to wi-fi or device is offline apart from that there are many additional features like splash screen whatsapp integration yes loading the application in the mobile phone with a splash screen and there are many features which we can use these are a couple of benefits yes all of these in detail are covered in our sap hybrid application development training but this flow which i showed you first letting the user to go to login screen authenticating with OData services with real S4 server and loading the real data eventually and then allowing also to integrate with camera. I'm going to show you all these features in the flow in the live demo. So I have already built a hybrid app during our training and we will now demonstrate the same. So we switch over back to the mobile emulator which is running on my computer and I will open my hybrid Fury app which I developed here. I click on that. It starts with a small splash screen and then it asks me to enter user ID and password. So now let me enter my ABAP user ID 
and my ABAP password here. Yes, so I am entering my ABAP password. I enter that and the next step I click on the login. So you can see we can also authenticate via the Google uh, G Suite. So that is also covered in our hybrid course. We click and click on the login button and now it authenticated and we can see all the data is getting loaded properly in the system. Superb. We can open one of the product and now we have the icon tab bars and we can go to camera and over here you can see we have also got a camera integration. We can click on take photo. It is starts the device camera. Yes, and we can click the picture. If you don't like we can go back and we can also switch the orientation of the device. So I take the picture in the landscape mode. So I take the picture and I'm just kind of happy with this. So we can click OK and the photo gets finally displayed over here. So this is the hybrid Fury application which we have developed. The best part which we also integrate is in case if I switch off my Wi-Fi connection, if I switch off my device uh, wireless fidelity connection, and in fact our data also I will switch off all the connection basically is still the application has to work yes I'm going to switch off the Wi-Fi now yes so application should still work so let me go back to open and you can see I am still able to navigate maybe I will just close the application and show you that application will still launch yes because we have implemented an offline store including all the UI5 dependencies are also integrated within the system so this is the beauty that even our device is offline we are still able to connect and use the application in the offline mode so these are the kind of capabilities we have also implemented in our hybrid fury application which is something which gives a very unique capability on top of what fury additionally offers yes so i hope you enjoyed this demo session you can check out the description for the link of the course and you can subscribe our hybrid application development course to learn how did we build this whole application end to end on top of what is already available in our company. Thank you so much for joining this episode today. I will catch you up in the next session. Have a nice day and goodbye.